right, folks, so again, this is this is first time for me using one of these pull type attachments. Um, you know me, I'm a tractor guy, but I like to experiment with new things. And so Northwoods Fabrication, you know, they are trying to get into a new market segment. So they, they make, um, you know, wood burning stoves, you know, like for your shop or your, your porch or whatever. Um, and so anyway, they're, they're kind of getting their, dipping their toes, I guess, into uh, a different market segment and good for them, you know, small company uh, trying to do something different. and. You know, they reached out and I thought, hey, what the heck, if you guys want to send something to me, I can do some video on it, see what I think about it. Um, they are one of those vendors where if you want to get something like this, you can order it right from their website. Use code GWT, get 5% off. But um, so, you know, really just kind of telling you like I see it, you know, this is a light duty box blade, all right? And, you know, coming from the tractor world and, and to some degree the skid steer world as well, you know, it's just built lighter, you know, but it has to be, you know, I mean, because this can be used on a small four-wheeler, you know, it can be used on a on a garden tractor, that kind of thing. And so you got to got to match the tool to what's going to be pulling it. And I think you probably could get away with uh, using this on a subcompact tractor. So if you had, you know, a quad and a, and a small tractor, you could use it on both. And so that's kind of the nice thing there with uh, with a pull type compared to a three-point mount. It kind of getting my feet wet with this thing and it didn't come with any instructions. Maybe there's some on the website. Um, I didn't bother to look it up. I kind of like to learn on the fly. But um, yeah, well, I wasn't sure if you want to have the wheels all the way up or if you want to kind of have them just touching the ground, pull along, you know, I guess two trains of thought there. I felt like maybe having those wheels down and the tires touching would allow it to kind of track a little bit better. And you'll see as I'm going through here, um, the center is the high point in this driveway right now. Um, you know, the, where the tires kind of drive, it's naturally compacted that down and left uh, the middle area a little bit fluffier and higher up. So it's sloped to both sides and this box blade tends to want to slide down to one side or another. So I tried a, a big combination and you'll see my, my hand kind of on that, that key fob there to adjust those tires up and down for the amount of contact they're making. Didn't seem to in reality make a whole lot of difference. I tried different speeds. Um, and so eventually I just kind of rolled with it and adjusted my travel path to account for some of that pitch or angle or whatever the heck it is. Um, with the with the box blade kind of sliding off so overall i think the results are pretty good i, I could keep going if i wanted to um, but it's just a matter of going down and back down and back it is a little bit harder more cumbersome to pull material to one side of the driveway if you need to like there's some of those areas that are really they need to have a lot more stone where the the drop off is pretty significant and so it's a bit tedious like with a tractor for example you can you can pretty easily just back right up and start over but this is kind of like trying to back up with a trailer all the time so i just found myself kind of doing big loops instead of backing up um, to tackle that so it can be done um, but if this, if this is the kind of machine you have, if you don't have a tractor, right, then this is a pretty handy tool. And it was doing a, an effective job of smoothing things out, of grading things out. Um, you get a feel for it, holding that key fob. You can hear the sound when it goes down and the blade starts to make contact with the ground. You know you're in the right spot, even without looking backwards, you know it's, it's made contact and it's gonna start collecting gravel and doing what you want it to do. And I guess I'm saying this because recently I used a soil pulverizer, Harley rake, rotor rake, whatever you wanna call it. And that tool right there has been one of the longest learning curves that I've had. Um, this tool here has been a lot shorter learning curve. So uh, the, the trickiest parts are the ends of the driveway there, really trying to feather that out and get that um, kind of dialed in. So it's a nice smooth transition. I probably need to do some more work on there. I didn't really have a need to drop these scarifiers down. You know, and again, if I'm looking at them, they are adjustable. I'm trying to keep things in perspective. I don't want to overstate what this tool is. Um, it's not a big beefy tool, and I, I don't think it'll come across like that. I'm saying that again because I want you to know it's, it's paired, or it's designed to be paired with a, a UTV, ATV, garden tractor, that kind of thing too. So you gotta be realistic about what you're getting. Um, there are weight trays on here too, could hold some cinder blocks uh, or something else, add some more weight. I don't, for my application, I, that wasn't that wasn't necessary. Now that cutting edge on there is a nice feature. There's actually a few box blades out there even for 
tractors that don't have a replaceable cutting edge and this one does have a replaceable cut cutting edge on there it's slotted so you can adjust it up and down and then you could also flip it over and use the other side too uh, we'll have to pull weight that kind of thing off of, of uh, Northwood's website I don't have that handy for me but we can throw that up hopefully now I did notice you do have zerks on both of these wheels which is a nice touch too so you can keep those greased up uh, don't no, no I don't see any other uh, greasable locations so one product improvement may may be adding some sort of like a stabilizer bar if you can so that it doesn't drift to the left or to the right um, you know I don't know it's not the end of the world and uh, maybe that's just me still trying to figure out the tool um, that would be the downside that I see but there's not a lot of options out there for UTV driveway graders right and so um, I'm all good giving this a shot. I think it's a tool that, uh, for me, having a tractor with a land plane, I'm gonna use that, right? It's just, it's the more practical um, tool for me. But for those of you that don't have that tool, hey, I think this is worth taking a look at. Chris is asking, did I mention if I, that I, you can drive faster with this versus a tractor? And, well, you can drive pretty quickly with a, a tractor too if you want to, but this isn't a speed game and, and going faster I was doing that more or less to see if that would help uh, allow the, the box blade to track better. I didn't, that didn't seem to make a difference for me. It was more if the surface was flat, it tracked well. If the surface was pitched to a side, it wanted to kind of draw everything over that way. So, you know, that's just what it is. Uh, last thing, um, pneumatic tires, okay? So you can keep those air filled if you need to. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for us today. 500 foot driveway, we now have, uh, what is it, 200 yards, 200 yards, 300 tons of 21 AA gravel on here, road fabric underneath. Got another driveway expansion coming up, going back to the barn as well. And I think I am probably gonna have two or three more loads dropped off kind of in the steep area so I have extra material to work with and, and build out that steep slope um, just to make it safer to traverse. I can see in the winter time that getting kind of kind of dicey and, and slipping and sliding so i want to level that out as best i can so anyway folks that's going to wrap it up for us today northwoods part of the gwt discount club a lot of vendors out there you can buy directly from the manufacturer enter code gwt you save five percent or more depending on the vendor off of your order but we do sell and ship all sorts of tractor attachments all right so if you own a tractor you want something for the front end loader the three-point hitch we're happy to help go to goodworkstractors.com and if you enjoy videos Normally with tractors, but sometimes ATVs, sometimes skid steers, other random stuff too. We'd love to have you tag along. Hit that subscribe button right down below. I want to thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by. Nice to see June in a video. And until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.